Hey guys, my name is Z and you're watching Yi Miss Easy. And welcome to a new video for Design Technology Timbers where today we have a core content which is 1.10 polymers. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe 1.10.1 thermal forming polymers, 1.10.2 which is thermal setting polymers, and 1.10.3 which is properties which includes all these things over here. So check out the pink comment for all the timestamps. And we'll move on with our first one, 1.10.1 thermal, thermal forming polymers. And the thermal forming polymers, they can be heated and formed repeatedly. They are pliable and recyclable, and which is one of the biggest advantages of thermal forming polymers. Now for example, acrylic, they can be used for car lights, visors, and bath. And properties include they are hard, brittle, shiny, and available in a wide range of colors. And working properties include it resists weather well, can be, they can be cut, folded, and polished well, but it scratches easily. And high impact polystyrene or hips, they can be used for CD cases and yogurt ports. They are rigid, cheap, and available in a lot of colors, but at end, they can be cut and vacuum formed easily. They are food safe, but it's very toxic when it's burned due to the smoke that it produces. And lastly, biodegradable polymers like this right here. They can be used for disposable cups and properties include they can come in fibers or sheets. And working properties include it's lightweight and, and it degrades over time so they can be safely sent to landfill, but it's expensive to produce. Then we have thermal setting polymers. And they are brittle and can only be formed once. They are hard to recycle, but they are good insulators and are resistant to heat and chemicals. So here we have polystyrene resin PR. It's a resin and a hardener and it's set clear and smooth. Working properties include it's strong, heat resistant and a good insulator. And it's used as a waterproofing and for encapsulating items. And then here we have urea formaldehyde UF. It has a smooth finish and is available in limited colors. But working properties include it's heat resistant, hot, brittle, and easily injection molded, and is used for electrical fittings. Then we have properties of thermal setting polymers. It includes insulating, uh, insulator of heat, insulator of electricity, and toughness. So for heat, most polymers are excellent in insulators of heat and they are commonly used to increase the safety of products. For example, expanded polystyrene cups. It offers the user's hand protection from hot drinks while they help to keep the drink hot for longer. So it's like dual purposes. And for example as well, they're used for handles on saucepans, kettles, hair dryers and electric heaters to prevent hot and cause injury. Insulator of electricity includes most polymers are excellent insulators of electricity and are commonly used in products that contain electrical components like TV, computers, and electrical toothbrush and they use main electricity for power and charging of batteries and without adequate insulation around the exterior, it could cause serious injury to the user for example like um, being electrocuted and all electrical products are, that are connected to main electricity will have a cable shielded by PVC and the plug is made of uh, made from urea formaldehyde. And most polymers are tough and they can withstand rough handling, making them suitable for a wide range of products in the home, industry, and agriculture and school. For example, in wheelie bins, buckets, watering cans, and all this stuff. And they are used to withstand impacts, bumps, and scrapes. And some polymers will, will like, fatigue and fail to perform following excessive wear. And that's it for this short video for 1.10 polymers for DT Timbers core content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below if you found it useful and if, any, and if you have any questions or criticisms. And also check out my Instagram in the description for more daily content. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay safe and peace.